Oyster Bay on Long Island, New York is the site of the Oak Cliff Sailing Center, which is quickly making a name for themselves in the world of skiff and multi-hull Olympic classes. They offer not only training, but charter boats and a flat water, dependable breeze, low traffic place to compete. It was only natural that the 49er, an Olympic class boat since the 2000 Games, and the newly adopted 49er FX and Knacker 17 to hold their 2014 National Championship, presented by Heron Financial Group Wealth Advisors, here. Well, this is the end of our first full season of having the high-performance boats here, and our goal clearly is to get medals in Rio and then going forward. But what's really cool for me right now is that we have solid quality teams all the way through every event, and quite a few of them were here for our 10-day uh, high-performance camp, which is part of our training program we call ACORN program. So it's really good to see the full plant in action, and I think it's just going to keep getting stronger. Teams from not only the United States, but from Canada and the U.S. Virgin Islands geared up for three days of fleet racing in preparation for the medal races to be held on the last day of competition. With Rio peaking up over the horizon in 2016, a national title brings more than just prestige. It could mean more attention for these teams' campaigns, better equipment, more time on the water, and more experiences under their belts. Most of the time I'm sailing a laser, so this is my first multi-hull experience. Of course, if you're a good sailor, it translates from one boat to another, but there are certain things specific to, to one boat or another in the whole tuning, adjusting between races, that's a little, a little different for me. For me, sailing the 17 has been a blast. Um, it's small, it's light, it's responsive. And so some of the tweakiness that I've learned on boats like America's Cup is translating onto this boat because it does really respond to small changes. In the NACRA 17 class, Sarah Newberry and John Casey have seen a lot of success in multi-hulls and easily translated it over into this class. Jeremy Wilmot, a professional sailor making a push for Rio with crew Luisa Chaffee, were their closest competition but still trailed our 2014 champions by 13 points at the end of the last day. We didn't want to go out there and be heroes, but we wanted to get the job done, and we did. We sailed two really strong races. Well, you had an incredible lead going into that last race, so it was nice and easy. You guys did a fantastic job. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. It's easy to sail fast when you're relaxed, you know? So we were relaxed for that one. It was a good time. Thank you. In the 49er FX class, we saw the traditional two female teams pushing for the top of the podium out there, but we also saw the next generation of skiff sailors, male and female, testing themselves and their boats. Paris Henkin and Helena Scott, the reigning national champions, came out strong on the last day, knowing their next event is the ISAF World Championships in Spain, and it's only a month away. My name is Paris Henkin, and I love Zen FX. Um, not only is it a fast boat, but you definitely have to think very quickly on the spot, many fast decisions, and you know, uh, I love sailing with Hannah. The dynamic together is just, it's just so much fun. Every maneuver requires two people doing their jobs perfectly in order to succeed. The strategy and the tactics and the racing also happen fast as well, so, but it's a real mental balance between keeping the boat going fast because the potential for speed is huge and then thinking about all the other things like tactics, strategy, and all that kind of stuff. They fell just inches away from a second title to Waddell and McDermott, who was coming off hot from a 29er national title. Um, we had a hectic start and didn't get off the line very well, but we just got clear air and didn't tack too much and caught up and made our gains on the downwinds, and it was good. Fantastic. What's next for you guys? Well, I'm back in school. I'm a senior in high school, so I'll be studying a lot and working on just getting college and all that sorted out. The biggest show accompanied the biggest boats out there. Fred Strammer and Zach Brown, two college All-Americans, led the regatta in points all the way from the first race of the first day to the last medal race. Laser Olympian Brad Funk, now sailing with Trevor Bird, proved it isn't over till it's over. It was full on. Um, we, we definitely had our work cut out for us mm. to, uh, to put enough boats between um, Fred and Zach and ourselves. And uh, opportunity it kind of came at the bottom mark there where we, we actually managed to uh, get them to uh, go above us and we hooked them.
from there, let the boats round the marks and managed to uh, catch up on the second beat, which was pretty hard feat to be able to do. And luckily, the, the breeze was up enough to be able to make it happen. All eyes will be following these American sailors as they push each other to be better capable to take on the world next month, next year, and in the next generation. Congratulations to all of the winners. For T2P TV, this is Ashley Love.